It's time for the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast. Each week, Trading Stocks Made Easy demystifies stock trading and investing so you can profit big. And now, here's the host of Trading Stocks Made Easy, the wealthy investor, Tyrone Jackson. Well, hello there. It's Tyrone Jackson, the wealthy investor, and you and I are back together. Nice to see you. Nice for you and I to have our precious time together. I'm so happy you're here. Big thank you to our announcer, Allison Steele. I never say thank you to Allison Steele for that beautiful voice she has. Round of applause for Allison Steele. Okay, hey, it's 2020. A lot of things are going on in the stock market. And I want to talk to you because I've, I've realized from people saying hello wherever I go that so many of you who already have a brokerage account are actually trading. So I am thrilled. So today I'm going to talk to you about this millionaire stock market game in 2020. In 2020, we've already seen a lot of volatility in the stock market. If you're currently trading, you know exactly what I mean, right? There are external forces that are affecting and impacting the stock market. And believe it or not, these external forces have something to do with earnings. So you're going to notice stocks that you really, really enjoy trading or holding for the long term dropping and then rising and then dropping again and then rising because of these external uh, matters. The stock market hates uncertainty. It just doesn't like economic uncertainty on a global scale. Why? It impacts what a company's top line could be in the future. Now, you know, I'm always saying to you, don't be negative. Just be open. Keep an open mindset. Here's what you have to think about. And if you listen to me, Uh, In the weeks going forward and you're following my trading methodology, you're going to make a lot of money. So how's that? You probably want to listen to me. Okay. so in the middle of all this volatility we're seeing in 2020, the most important thing that you're going to need to follow right now are the earnings of the companies that you like for the long term. Now, I have a saying, which is never buy the stock unless you understand the story. A lot of people, when they find themselves trading independently on their own, Trading for them is just a greed game. How much money can I make as quickly as possible? And so when you're playing the stock market from a greed perspective, obviously you're not playing it from an educated perspective and you're not seeing what's down the road. So here's how it goes. I always talk to you about top line revenue growth. We only trade and invest stocks that are members of the Dow Jones Industrial Average or the S&P 500. So right in and there, Even if there's something affecting the market overall, guess what? Those stocks tend to come back the fastest. In fact, in a recovery, they will lead the way. Why? Because for most of the companies in the Dow, in the S&P, their earnings growth is solid. Now, in the middle of all this volatility that you're looking at in 2020, if you're playing the long game, you want to look for companies that benefit from the turmoil that may be going on in the world. So let me show you exactly what I mean by that. Aren't there companies that process credit cards online? So let's just say we went through a period, hypothetically, where people were quarantined in their homes for a little while. Let's just say that that was something that popped up. What are people going to do when they're at home? They're going to spend money online, right? Watching what? All of the content that they like. Let's say a time came where businesses forced people to do business from home, hypothetically, of course, and uh, they still needed employees and businesses to communicate. Wouldn't they employ a video and audio service that allows their employees to communicate with one another worldwide? Aren't there publicly traded stocks that are in on that business? You see, just because the stock pulls back doesn't mean that there aren't billions of dollars to be made. So let's talk about what real Wall Street pros do as traders and investors so we could just basically copy or emulate the same thing in our self-managed portfolios. So one of the things I'd like to encourage my students to do is when there's a pullback in the stock market, see beyond that. Who's going to benefit in the long term? Because if you understand that and your favorite stock is, let's say, pulled back $30, $40, $50, you now know that that stock is on sale. So most stocks that pay a dividend when they drop $20 or $30, when retracement happens, which happens 100% of the time in the stock market, they will come back the fastest. 
Now, I've said this before on this show, and I say it a lot in my live events. You can always tell stocks that are going to do well for the long term if they pay a dividend. If I am a million dollar institution or multi million dollar institution, and the dividend that this company pays is 24 cents per share per quarter, and I own a million shares, regardless of what the stock price is, I'm never going to sell it. Why? Because I am there for that 24 cents per share. So even when that big name stock actually pulls back, certain institutions will never sell their shares. Why? They're getting paid to wait, if you think about it, in Wall Street terms. So therefore, most of the time, you don't want to sell off your positions that pay a dividend. However, if something bad happened in the world, you do want to take profits. Because if you can take profits off a stock that's on sale, then you have the capital to play retracement when the crisis is over. So why do I always like trading dividend-paying stocks? And by the way, you don't have to follow my trades. I'm just explaining to you how the stock market works, passing on that financial education to you. That's why one-third of your portfolio should at least be stocks, or I like stocks, one-third of my portfolio, are always in Dow. Why? Because when those stocks pull back and I take profits, I'm freeing up cash to catch the retracement, the bounce back, if you will, on the other side. Why? Because when you're seeking to trade like a million dollar institution, you should always be looking at the future, not the present. Now, that's always easier said than done. If you're a trader and all of a sudden you're looking at the value of your portfolio going down, There's a tendency to panic and not think about three, four, five years down the line, right? But when you've learned to put that into practice and to see the future and future earnings growth, your emotional response to a declining account will be lessened, okay? So let's say we were to look at the top 30 stocks in the Dow Jones Industrial Average and we were to look at their five-year performance, you would notice that most of the Dow tends to go higher over time. But they all have these temporary periods in which their share prices come down. And when you look at a five-year chart, you're thinking, oh man, if I had entered at this lower point or this other point, how much money could I have made off the bottom? So I know it's hard, but you must Think about the future earnings of any company that you are trading because that's an educated, sophisticated approach in the middle of a crisis. So some institutions start buying when they sense a bottom, millions and millions of shares, and that's what causes retracement. When there's a sell-off going on, there are other institutions that are selling millions of shares so they can come back and buy the stock at a cheaper price. Does that make sense? Why do they want to buy the stock at a cheaper price? Well, while everybody's panicking, they have a strategy. So my question for you is, whether you're trading in a bull market, a bear market, or a neutral market, what is your plan for the future? Where do you want your portfolio to be five years from now? Because that should be affecting the trades that you are placing today. So let me give you a little bit of what I call the wealthy investors playbook. When markets are pulling back, when they're dropping, we are taking profits. So if XYZ stock has gone up in your account 100%, why would you hold it when the market is dropping, right? Why not cut your position in half, even though you like the company for the long term, put your capital on the side and save that capital for when the market turns around. Then you'll be playing like the big boys do. So million-dollar institutions play this game. They join the sell-off by taking profits, they wait for the turnaround, and then they ride it back up. So part of the playbook is to take profits. Now, what happens to a lot of people in my program is they fall in love with the stock and they never want to take profits. Although there's a saying for that on Wall Street, which is you never go broke taking profits. When you take profits, the number one question you need to ask yourself is, where do I think this stock will be five years from now? Then you're just simply waiting for the bottom and you have a plan coming back up. You see, when you're a greedy trader, you're just trading in the moment with no eye to the future. All money needs a plan. And that's what I tell you all the time when you are trading. So back to this wealthy investor playbook, when the markets are dropping, we're going to take profits. 
but we are still going to sell cover calls. What kind of cover calls? Out of the money cover calls. You see, cover calls is the single best trade for the retail investor ever. Because even when a stock is falling, I can still pull in income through cover calls. Now, for those of you who know anything about selling cover calls, the first thing you have to know after you sell the cover calls is what is your cost basis, right? What is your cost basis in the actual shares? Well, in a market that's declining, I'm going to have something called a trailing cost basis. So I'm going to go sufficiently out of the money with my covered calls and probably 30 days out still pull in income because now I'm selling covered calls based on where I think the stock price is not going to go. So I get to keep the premium and lower my cost basis at the same time. If you really understand this system, you understand there's always income to be generated if you're using the wealthy investor approach. More advice on what to do when markets are going up, going down, or staying neutral right after this. Want to increase your stock market trading profits? Then you need to start your monthly membership to WITradeSchool.com right now. Don't understand how to write covered calls for monthly income? No problem. Simply review Tyrone's latest stock trades in our video library as many times as you need. WITradeSchool.com is all about helping you get the financial education you need to earn money in the stock market and change your financial life. Tyrone Jackson, the wealthy investor, has helped his students earn thousands of dollars per month trading stocks online from home. These are people just like you. So what are you waiting for? Follow Tyrone Jackson's Red Hot Stock Trades and Investment Strategies today. Don't wait. Start your monthly membership at WITradeSchool.com right now. And welcome back. Okay, right before the break, I was talking to you about the Wealthy Investor Playbook. So just a quick recap. When markets are dropping, am I selling out of the money covered calls? Of course I am. When markets are dropping, am I keeping track of my cost basis? Of course I am. When markets are dropping, am I still generating income by selling way out of the money covered calls and lowering my cost basis? Yes. And finally, when markets are dropping, am I taking my long-term holds, cutting them in half? Taking profits and waiting for the bottom? Of course I am. Now, let me tell you this. If you really want to be in this game for the long term, you're going to need an eye for the short term, generating income and collecting dividends, and where you'd like to be five years from now. Because any time the stock market has had a major pullback, the retracement has been enormous. The difference between a professional trader, someone who's trading for an institution, that means a college endowment, insurance company, or bank, is they get paid to develop a long-term plan. So they tend not to panic it as much in a pullback because, first of all, the money is not theirs. They're simply custodians of the money that they trade, but they do get a bonus off of the amount of money that they actually bring in. So professional traders tend to think about where this stock will be five years from now as opposed to where it is at the moment, and they develop a strategy around that. Guess what? You could do the same thing. Now, let's talk about one way in which you can handle your money is through something called dollar cost averaging. You hear that mostly with mutual funds. So here's what happens with people who put their money into mutual funds. They're putting in a calculated amount every single month. So in effect, to put it in layman's terms, they're buying at averages when the market is low, when it's high, five years down the line, when the market is higher, they bought all these shares into the fund, essentially on sale. Well, for those of you who don't have millions and millions of dollars and you're building your wealth in the stock market, doesn't it make sense to continue to contribute to your account to kind of average in money in your account every single month? The answer is mathematically, yes, it does. What does that do? Even though you might not be buying for 90 days, you're accumulating cash. So we can do our own version of dollar cost averaging by constantly putting money into our brokerage account, waiting for the bottom, and now we have the cash to ride it back up. Now, all of the things that I've been talking to you about in this episode are skills. It has nothing to do with greed. But if you want to be able to change your life as a trader, you have to be able to think down the road. So I'm going to give you a challenge since so many of you already have trading accounts. Log into your biggest trading accounts and decide right now what stocks you'd be willing to take profits on to put cash on the side. How are you going to handle the money that you're constantly feeding into your brokerage account? And 
When are you going to participate in the stock market when it turns around, when it starts to rise? What stocks would you buy more of using, as I always talk about, the $5 buy signal? See, when you do that, you're creating a plan for the future instead of just reacting to the present. The reason I want you to do that is because that's what million-dollar institutions do. They're always looking towards the future and what stocks will be higher based on earnings. Now, here's what's exciting. All of my students who remain trading in the stock market for five years or more always tell me they learn more when the market pulls back than they do when the market is just bullish and rising. And I think the answer for that is because they really build skills during the bad time that makes them excel during the good times. So, so if we ever hit a mean patch in the stock market where it looks like everyone is panic selling, your job is to what? Make a plan for the future. What stocks you like to own for their future revenue growth and increase in stock price. When you do that, you're going to notice a year from now, you have an unstoppable set of skills. Tyrone Jackson, The Wealthy Investor, saying thank you for spending this time with me. Stay open, and now more than ever, stay positive about your financial future. Want to increase your stock market trading profits? Then you need to start your monthly membership to WITradeSchool.com right now. Don't know which stocks to choose for trading in today's market? No problem. Just follow Tyrone Jackson's hot stock picks inside WITradeSchool.com. At WITradeSchool.com, you could also follow Tyrone's weekly stock market tutorials and investing advice. Plus, each week you can submit your trading and investing questions directly to our staff, and Tyrone will answer them as part of our weekly video Q&A sessions. Begin your membership right now and you'll get instant access to WITradeSchool.com's video library. That means you'll get to know all of Tyrone's major and minor trading strategies including covered call writing and volatility trading for fast, sexy profits. Tyrone Jackson, the wealthy investor, has helped his students earn thousands of dollars per month trading stocks online from home. These are people just like you. In addition to his successful podcast, Tyrone's editorial content has been featured on CBSMoneyWatch.com, Nasdaq.com, and YahooFinance.com. So what are you waiting for? Follow Tyrone Jackson's Red Hot Stock Trades and Investment Strategies today. Don't wait. Start your monthly membership at WITradeSchool.com right now. You've been listening to the Trading Stocks Made Easy podcast. Be sure to rate and review our show on iTunes. While you're on iTunes, be sure to click the subscribe button and you'll automatically receive our next episode.